All right, hopefully the third time will be the fucking charm on this because I keep getting interruptions between uh, dogs barking every time someone comes to the door or somebody calling me and the stupid iPhone deciding, oh, let me just automatically switch to the phone call instead of uh, continuing the recording and so it ruined that one. So maybe this will be the charm. This is another installment of me trying to explain how the two ECU files work in response to somebody who we had a, I guess, a sort of a debate. Um, and I said, look, rather than trying to explain this verbally, let me, let, me ex let me show you. So hopefully this will clear this up. So his point was that by taking these tables and increasing them to 100, that well, you're adding, you know, you're opening the throttle place to 100% now, so that means more air is coming in, but you didn't adjust your fuel tables. And they said, well, you don't have to. It has not, one has, they're related, but they're independent of each other. It, it, it's getting the right amount of fuel that when you change these. Because you think about like, a, like with a ride by wire system, there is no direct connection between twisting and throttle bodies opening, like a cable operated carved bike or a fuel injected bike that doesn't have ride by wire. So, he said, yeah, but he couldn't just get his mind around, yeah, but we're, we're, when you open up the throttle plates all the way, you got to have extra fuel. No, you don't. Here's why. This table, all it's doing is saying, how much throttle are you twisting? It's just a dial, like a dial on a stereo, right? Turn it to 50 and you get 50% volume. Here, you turn it to 100% volume, but it might only give you 74% throttle at 7,500 RPM. And he says, yeah, but when you, when you change that to 100, don't you have to increase the fuel? No. And I'll show you why. The throttle tables here, the ride-by-wire tables, this is taking throttle input, and then these cells are how much are the throttle bodies open, okay? So think about 7,500 RPM, 100% throttle, 74% throttle bodies. So when we go up, past 73 screens to get to the fuel tables. The problem is visually they have they look the same, so you just assume, oh, it's the same thing here. It's not. These tables, this line up here is not throttle input. This is throttle plate openings. So you start with the one where you, you, you have to think of it sequentially. I twist the throttle, that chart on the other screen on ETV3 says how much to open the throttle bodies. Then here it says, okay, when the throttle body's open that much at that RPM, how much fuel do I give it? So before I would give it 100% throttle, but at 7250 or 7500, whatever it was, it would only deliver 74, uh, the throttle bodies would open only open 74%. That means I'm not drawing on these fuel cells, I'm over here. So what they probably could have done to make this simpler was either explain this or call this one throttle body position instead of throttle input, you know, something like that. The problem is that when they created this, they just used the same graphic sort of look and feel, um, the same type of layout, and they didn't change the naming conventions, and that's where the confusion comes into play. So before, when I gave it 100% throttle, it said, okay, it's 7,500, you're only gonna get 74% of the throttle plates open. That means my fuel table was somewhere in here. Um, it, it interpolates or interpolates between the the tables, so it doesn't have to. You don't have to have literally a cell that goes on like 19 pages to the right to account for every little increment. It does it in chunks, and then it just it has a linear progression where it basically averages anywhere in between. If it's 50% between, it'll be 50% between those two numbers. So at 7,500 RPMs before, I may have been asking for 100% throttle, but it was only opening the throttle plates this much. So my fuel table is gonna be somewhere between 13.5 and 14.9. So let's just say 14.2. That's how much fuel I was getting at that RPM. But now that I'm at 100% throttle and it's actually giving me 100% opening on the throttle plates, now I'm getting this much fuel. And 15.908 uh, is way more than here. So I'm, I'm getting like 15% more fuel. So that's how you have to look at this. It has to work that way. Fuel tables are universal. There's not a different fuel table for um, having uh, rain mode versus road mode versus track mode or sport, you know, whatever, you know, depending on which bike you have. The Speed Twin just has those three. They don't have different fuel tables for different modes. They have different throttle openings. And so what they did was they linked these in a sequential order. Twist the throttle, look at the ETV table, and if you're in rain and you give it 100%, it's only, maybe it only gives you 50% of the throttle opening. Okay, well, if, if 
this was still pulling fuel from up here, you'd be so rich, you'd be practically fouling plugs and stalling the bike. It wouldn't work. It would be horrible running and it would be way out of emission spec and it would run like shit. So you give it 100%, it says, okay, at 6,000 RPMs, you're only gonna get 50% of the throttle opening. So when you go to 6,000 RPM, you're only getting this much fuel. That's the difference and that's the problem. This is a little confusing to look at because they use the same colors and graphic layout and columns and they didn't change the naming conventions to be a little more intuitive. But what I did by changing going from you know 90% instead of a, a given RPM, because the RPMs are always going up, I was pulling fuel from these tables because I was only in the 80s and maybe up to 90%. But by switching up to 100% throttle, now I'm pulling from these tables. Now it's working more like a conventional throttle cable. Um, and so when I snap it to 100, I get 100. It knows that the throttle position plates are open 100% now. And so it's now pulling from the 100 column. So to recap, on the ETV tables, it's throttle input up here. And then it tells you how much to open the plates. When you go to the fuel tables, or the ignition tables for that matter, it, then it becomes, okay, these columns are not throttle position anymore. This is how much it's actually opening. So if before it said 70, you'd be looking over here at those RPMs, even though I'm in 100% throttle. It's a little graphically misleading, but this is how it works. Um, I've verified this, it is 100% accurate. So hopefully this clears it up for some people. You start with your ETV, open up the throttle to a certain position. It says, okay, great. You're gonna get in rain mode at 85% throttle, um, but I'm only gonna give you so much. When I go to 70% throttle, let's just take 61% throttle, I'm only gonna get 44.7. So 7,500 RPMs, it's gonna be 44.7 uh, throttle position, uh, I'm sorry, throttle plate position, even though the throttle itself is at, and that's the problem again, see? You use this throttle position, and they shouldn't have. It should be throttle, in, throttle input, and on the other screen it should be, you know, uh, uh, throttle body or you know something like that but if we do the math or not the math but if we just do the analysis here 7500 at 61 percent throttle i'm only getting 44.7 so let's go back up and go to 7500 7500 it was 44 so i'm going to be around here even though i may be giving it this much throttle this is the fuel that's what i'm getting and that's why when you change the one, you don't have to increase the fuel. It's already increasing the fuel because instead of looking over here in the 80% column at wide open where it was held back, now it's looking at the 100% values, which are way richer. It scales with it. That's how this works. Hopefully this makes sense. I got through it without any interruptions. Nobody called me. My phone didn't crap out. So <laughs> hopefully this damn video works. I'll upload this, share it with you. If you got questions, ask me. But I'm hoping that makes sense. I'm trying to put it in layman's terms. And I hope it did a good job. You just got to understand what these tables actually are and how they work in relation to each other. Hope this helps. Please let it help. <laughs> Tired of explaining it.